than most of us and she used to live in Dunnington near York but since losing her husband Ian and two sons Oscar and Milo to brain tumours within seven years she moved to Denmark. Marie and her sons Sebastian and Lucas have channeled their grief into fundraising and they're supporting Oscar's paediatric brain tumour charity which was set up in memory of Oscar a few years ago. Really pleased to say Marie is on the line. Um, Marie how are you doing this morning? Hello I'm okay I'm okay. Good. Um, you know, the last time we heard from you, or s- since then really, your husband and son Milo have passed away. Uh, just such yeah. s- sincere condolences for their deaths. I'm so, so, ho- so, so sorry to hear about that. How are you and how are Sebastian and, and how is Lucas? How are you all doing? Yeah, I think, I think we're doing okay. It's, it's been shock upon shock, to be honest. And it's, uh, it's turned our lives upside down. It's kind of stopped our lives because that's what happens when, when you have to help someone through treatment and, and you have to watch your loved ones go through and something as, as harsh as a as brain tumour treatment as well. Um, and unfortunately, with all three of them, it was brain tumours that they died from. Uh, three different types of brain tumours, actually. It's very, very strange. Uh, but I think the boys, we take strength from each other. We take strength from the charity that we set up when Oscar died. Um, it was definitely something to keep that legacy alive for him. And now, of course, it's a legacy to our whole family, I would say. Um, and, and we put a lot of effort into doing better for others because none of us want this to happen to another child, to another family. Um, we just need better treatments for brain tumours and we need kinder treatments. And, and that's what sort of drives me now, that wish to, to make things a little bit better for someone else or a little bit easier. It's probably not going to be better. Um but we're doing okay. We, we we keep each other going. You become close in a different way. I mean, my eldest Sebastian is 18. Lucas is 12. So it's a different kind of relationship you have when they get a bit older. And we talk a lot. We remember Milo and Oscar and Ian every single day. Um, then everything that we do, really. And I think that's what keeps us going. And And we've made some changes. You know, we've made some changes because that's what we needed to do to... Um, to yeah, to keep going, really. Um, but yeah, we're very proud of the charity. And, Tell us um, more about the charity then, yeah. and the, the the work that, that that you do. And you know, you've actually raised quite a substantial amount of money, haven't you? We have raised a lot of money. I mean, we've raised over six hundred thousand pounds now, and that's a lot for small charity. We've made some real differences. We've been part of co-funding um, a, a, some research and trial that actually been adopted by the NHS, and and so so I can sort of see how well we're doing and, and how much of a difference that we're making. Um, and, we, and we do some big events, like lately we went up to Ben Nevis. We've talked a lot about that and showed a lot on our social medias about that because um, I think we're all a little bit surprised. It was an actual real mountain that we went up. Um, and we went up there with uh, 40 people, a lot of them children. And uh, Lucas was with me, Sebastian couldn't because of work in this instance. Um, and it was just an amazing experience pushing ourselves so hard i mean there was times where well there was times where lucas wanted to stop and <clears throat> then there was certainly a time where i thought i couldn't actually go any further because um sitting still when you look after people for a long time you know makes you not the fittest person in the world but that's i'm certainly coming after that now how did you keep and, yourselves um, going then when you sort of hit that point you think oh i'm i'm, I'm just exhausted i think and and it's 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 just that the boys, both well, and Ian, but both Milo and Oscar were extremely strong boys and they would just never stop. I mean, Oscar was this very sportive, active guy and he uh, he just kept going and, and being fit and active was really important to him. And they're very, like I said, very, very stubborn, but all my children are actually. I uh, don't know where they get that from, but I think it was just thinking about what they had had to go through with their treatments. Because the treatment they went through every single day, I reckon it would have felt like climbing a mountain. Certainly when they were going through radiotherapy, you know, when, when Oscar was going through that and he had um, general anesthetics every day, that makes you absolutely shattered. They were going through chemo with everything that, that comes with that. And they just kept going. So I thought, well, hang on. <laughs> we just need to keep going and we need to think about them. We need to think about the fact that they smiled even through all of that horror that they had to go through, they were always so happy. So we need to keep that going. We need to show people that, you know, that you could do these things. Um, And, and, you know, we raised a lot of money doing this because I think people realized it was a real challenge and this this kind of funding is needed. So we raised over 16,000 pounds 
just from this one challenge. Um, That's incredible. Tell me more about the team who were with you. You mentioned around about 40, 40 people. You had some uh, some young ones in there as well. We had some young ones. We actually, Yeah, we had Myla's little friend, Riley, who's only five years old at the time, went up with us, with her dad. And, and she was just fantastic. I mean, as we were going down, she's like jumping ahead in front of us. We were all could hardly walk anymore. Um, but it, that was very special. It's really special to have children. We had some other friends where... We had a group of, uh, of of young lads, Josh and and Oliver and so forth, coming uh, going up as well, and you know going at the front really. Just um, children seem to just have this amazing appetite for just keeping on going and uh, yeah, walking then and getting a chance to talk to different people about what the charity means to them and and what my children meant to them, you know, those kind of things are, are really valuable to me. And it's something that I take with me going forward that um, that my children are not forgotten just because they're no longer here. Um, so that so in those conversations, that Marie, what, what sorts of things did people say to you? Was there, a, was there anything in there that you thought, oh, I didn't know that? Oh, I think by now, uh, you know, most people, the things that I've sort of, realized that it's just the happiness that the boys brought to a lot of them and and the fact that they were so active and I I think the boys inspire um, other people to sort of do better with their lives I I think that's a real if only I could tell them now how much they have left a mark on this world you know I'd, I'd love to do that but you know that was never their aim so yeah it it was just a fantastic experience so up an actual mountain, which I imagine in Denmark is fairly flat. Uh, ben Nevis is, is pretty, pretty <laughs> big. Um, you're not stopping there, though, are you? You are carrying on with, with the fundraising and you've got your biggest event coming up as well. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, we have, uh, well, we have quite a few events coming up. We're going to be doing this inflatable run. And I think we have 189 people doing the inflatable run. And actually, Oscar's uh, friends from school are doing this in memory. And they always said that when they left school, that they were going to do something for Oscar one day. And this is what they're doing. And I just cannot wait for this event. It's in York, and it's the inflatable 5K run. And I think, one, they're going to have such an amazing time. Two, they're going to raise loads of money. And three, they're going to remember Oscar, certainly his, his school friends. It's going to bond them together because it does have an effect not just on us and our family, but on, on all the friends that, you know, they, they lose someone really close to them and, and that they see that at such a young age, you know. Um, so that event is just going to be fantastic. Yeah. So when's that happening then? And is, is there any room to take part? Because I do like an inflatable run, it has to be said. Oh, do you know what? I think we've closed for the entries, but I'm not entirely sure if there's room for one more. I think there might be. Um and I can't remember the date. This is terribly embarrassing. Let's, let, let, we'll tell you what, I'll put my name on the uh, on the to-do list if that's going on. And I'm just yes. having a quick look through because we've had um, some details through about this. Um, I don't actually have a have a date, but we will uh, we'll find out exactly um, oh, right. when it is. I um, know, because it's my son's birthday, isn't it? It's the weekend of my son's birthday, the 18th, 19th of June. Sorry. Oh, wow. I'm okay. Completely... No, oh, gosh, don't don't be Marie. I can't even remember what day it is most days. To be honest with you, um, so how can people, if they want to to get it, get involved, maybe come down and see, come come and support people, or support the charity as well? Because we all know charities yeah, in particular that, have had a rough they? time the last couple of years. Oh, so well, that and and that's another reason I thought it was so amazing that we've come back so strong after after the pandemic because we put everything on hold as such. Um, well, uh, we obviously on social media, so we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, um, and and we have a website. It's www.oscarspbtc.org. So there's a lot of information about us there. I write a blog, which you know I think maybe sometimes does help other people when they go through um, similar uh, experiences. So that's kind of my therapy as well. Um, so, so we're out there and, and we're trying to raise a lot of awareness for brain tumours, for early diagnosis and for support for, for children with brain tumours. And, you know, brain tumours are the biggest cancer killer in people under the age of 40 and not a lot of people know that. And we need that message to get out there so that, so that we start funding even more and we start getting better and kinder treatments for these brain tumours, for these children. 
Well, Marie, it sounds like you are really, really banging the gong and doing such amazing work. You along with um, Sebastian and Lucas as well. Good luck with the event on the uh, 18th and 19th. Yeah, if there is a little place, I might uh, squeeze myself in. But honestly, uh, Marie, it's been a, a real pleasure and a privilege to talk to you today. Um, you. Just Thank give us so the, uh, the, the website address again for, for, for yeah. people who might be listening. It's www.oscarspbtc.org. Brilliant. Well, I hope it all goes really, really well. And um, yeah, on on Oscar's birthday weekend as well. So really, really good to talk to you. Uh, Marie, take care and uh, good luck with the event and possibly see you down there. Thank you so much. Yes, definitely. That'll be great. Thank (laughs) you, Marie. Really, really good to chat to Marie Hughes.